I haven't actually shown a game that I've been somewhat proud of in World of Tanks in almost over a year. So what we're going to be doing for today is I'm going to pick a tank. I don't know what yet. We're going to just try to have like a really solid game in it. That way I can actually kind of, <laughs> you know, you know, when you just go like a long stint without a carry, that's kind of how I have been now parts basically because I haven't played unless I've been recording. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to have like a great game and we'll see how that goes. I would choose my T-54, but uh, I don't have six cents, so that's not an option. I don't really want to spend gold to retrain the crew either. I think it's best to choose something like the T-54 in today's meta. So we could go with something like a Patton, or I don't want to play a TD. That would suck. Or a Comet, actually. A Comet could, could be interesting. Let's go with the Comet. I don't have six cents, so whatever happens will be relatable to most people because I have a relatively average crew. And uh, this is actually in an average tier. It's not some, this is low tiers basically. So queue time is gonna be insane. There's 4K people online. Hopefully I'm against people with somewhat similar pings, you know, people who are awake at this time, probably from NA. That was actually surprisingly quick. So for this one, we're in Kharkov, it's a standard game. Ah, uh, if I wanted to have, if I wanted like this game to be good, how would I play? Well, first things first is I wouldn't be aggressive. There's three arties. So anything that I make towards F1 is just going to get me killed. Um, the other thing is kind of like, they've got a lot of mediums. They don't have very many heavies. They're only actual heavies, the Tiger P. Um, wish a great battle. Wow, that's a nice guy. But uh, where are we going to go? First, let's turn sound up. I think that the position I'd love to start off if their whole team was mediums is actually like this type of position to put shots into them. Now our whole team is mediums too, but you know, we can guess that their whole team is going to go to the one, two line. And if we can get sort of supporting use our DPM type of shots, we should be golden from there. I don't really think we're going to have to rotate out of the nine zero. The only reason we'd have to go to the Eastern side of this map is like if they do something weird or if we start to lose the one, two line. And because I'm sort of positioning myself over to the one two line and I'm top tier. I don't expect that to happen. The main thing would be if they're like, if they do something weird, they kind of have the tiger P who could push through and the Churchill and we've only got a T150, but we're sending a lot south. So, oh God, <laughs> hey man. Oh, and I see what I'll platoon with him. He said, hi, <laughs> let's see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't spam his mic or something. Okay, so we've got the EBR. So interestingly enough, none of my team except the EBR went up aggressively. Now in this case, the EBR hasn't spotted anyone. Dude, I almost shot my teammate there. That was, some, I didn't expect him to do that, but you can see I'm putting shots in and that one actually hit someone. So the reason it didn't knock over that thing on the first try is because there was a tank there and managed to hit him. I'll just keep putting shots out. This tank has a like, in a high tier game, you might have to worry about ammo, but probably not in this low tier type of thing people are starting to copy me. So I've got about two, I'd say two shots of damage if I'm lucky. We'll say one for sure. What I'm going to do from here is we're going to play the mid. So on my how to play Kharkov video, I stipulated that the media, the, the middle of the map was super strong. And in, and in a game like this, where you would expect a lot of them to be C3 and E1, it's like, I think that's going to be a really useful position. So we're going to go over there. This isn't the fastest tank, nor does it have the best camo, nor do we have six cents, but because we've won the field, like it should be a solid position. Um, once we get over there, this thing's fucking slow. Let's see. Okay, so one of the good things about slow tanks is they let you analyze the map. The brilliant thing about this game is their whole team is unspotted. So if I can get to like here, we'll see if there's anyone in this middle row, right? Oh, there we go. Exactly. Someone could catch us out, but... Okay, we're gonna need gold against him, I think. Yeah, look, it's orange for his lower plate. If only I could learn to aim. He fired. That was a good shot. He'll probably reload soon. Okay, so how do I not lose all my HP to this guy? I think what I want to do is I'm not going to... I'm going to have to make a lot of micro plays here. He's obviously camping me, so I have to try to get his gun to turn or, like, make him miss his shot. If other people are farming him, that's great. Okay, it was, in my opinion, it was worth the risk to take the shot to get a kill. So that's what we did there. And now we should be in a relatively decent position to see if our platoon guy... Can get eyes? I don't really want him to. If he fell back, that's pretty aggressive, you know. <laughs> if he gets yellowed, he's fine. But like, okay. So I'm in the open right now, right? And because I don't have six cents, that's actually kind of stupid. They could have someone who's scouting or something. I don't have shots in the Cromwell because I can't render him. I might be able to move up. The problem is that IKV and the SU. The SU one isn't being challenged, so he could move around. So let's see. 
This is really high risk. It might be high reward though, and I think I'd like to get shots in the Cromwell and help out my platoon mate. Okay, so what's happened here is our whole team's going to the zero line and they can just drive up the mid. So for me to be here with the SU who might be shooting gold or whatever is bad. So I'm going to check this corner, make sure no one's on it. There's no one and now I'm going to get out because, you know, obviously the situation's changed. It's not smart for me to play the mid. Now, this guy falling back is the right play. They're going to push three down the one, two, which is unfortunate that my buddy died. Got down. Let's see, can I make a flanking play? Because the SU's here, I might be able to go like this, but you would expect that IKV to be like helping, you wouldn't expect the, this to just be clear. So maybe what I'll do is because the SU's a two shot, I'll now push in and there's nothing here, right? So I can probably surprise him. The main thing is that IKV and they might also have a tiger. This has all the makings of a great game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, this caught me out. Hopefully. He hasn't noticed me, right? Put a shot into him, good. So hopefully he dies. I see there's no IKV to my side. He's driving towards me, get the kill. Fantastic. And that's just because the position's solid. Now we're gonna, that like we made a flank and that's why that worked. Now I have to get already safe because there's three of them. And from here, uh, there's four tanks pushing the one. I wanna win the city. Thanks, man. Okay, okay. There's the IKV, of course he's there. He didn't come to help his friend. Okay, he fired. I should be able to get one or two and two because of his reload. And from here, I think I'm just going to stay safe. So I could imagine that these guys would have shot me if I were to play this angle. Yeah, and so this guy... Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. Damn. So I didn't get shot, obviously, when I poked, but it's not worth the risk. My best play right now is to go back or... Jesus, I'm retarded. <laughs> Look how slowly this thing turns. It's like a boat. I can get shots in the IKV from here. Now, he is probably moving to deal with that. Yeah, he is. High roll, please. He, he bounced, so... STRV's on cap, not that big of a deal. Kill the IKV, and now we have to go back to base because they've got an STRV, Cromwell type, and T3045. So from here, what you'd have to worry about is them winning the city while you're going to defend the base and then flanking you. We're down... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. How much HP is that? Is this winnable? Oh yeah, it's very winnable. Let's see if we can kill the type. See, if we kill the tiger, we're golden. We can totally win this one. But if we can't, that's not good. So I think the Bretang Panther should be able to manage it. And so I'm not going to help him, basically. Because I don't think he needs it. Otherwise, I would for sure. Okay, so from here, are we already safe? Yes. Do we have shots on cap? Not really. This guy's not. <laughs> so we're already safe, but useless. Um, this angle will not give me shots on cap. I'm thinking I've never played this far back on this map. So I'm thinking if I go like so, I might manage to get shots. And this is going to be my last view of the Tiger P. Looks like he's going to die right there. That was interesting sound. I didn't expect that. I don't know what that is. And from here, are we going to get rushed by meds? Well, we have an M44 backing us up. Okay, this is the position we need to be in. Oh my god. <laughs> That's their whole team. I should probably shoot at the type, not the... That's exactly what we'll do. So we have the DPM and the fire rate to shoot down a lot of this guy's cover, but you can see he's safe. He'll give me a shot here, I suspect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I hit him before the ping, which is perfect. Uh, <laughs> okay, what from here? The Cromwell is dealing with our T-150, so I actually want to push one of these Cromwells. This guy, not really worried about. Like, if I pushed into him, the Arty would nail him, so... I'm not spotted as I make this play, which is fantastic. Is this guy going to light me? No. I don't want him to, at least. So what I need to do here is the Cromwell doesn't know I'm here, right? So I can totally catch him out as he comes to flank this T-150, and that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. He might drive up a bit more, thinking he's safe. We don't have Artie. And interesting to note is that Tiger P managed to kill the Pretang Panther. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do is I need to... Damn. If it was the Tiger P who killed the AMD, that would have been good for me. I need to push the Tiger P. For sure. Please get lucky, James. I know it bounced. <sighs> okay, what do I do? This is rough, right? I need to push into a tank that can high roll me and one shot me with this shitty gun handling. Okay, he bounced. I want an angle on his lower plate, that's why I've moved forwards. Good. They have a 34 who's unspotted and full? <laughs> okay, I'm driving forwards to get already safe. 
Okay, I'm gonna fall back so I have gun depression and I'm pulled down. Oh, there's the 34, of course. I need to kill the Cromwell. Fuck, that low rolled. <laughs> Alright, good job to that guy who managed to kill me. I don't know why it, like, bragged his username in front of my face. <laughs> good job to Wargaming for that edition. Uh, <laughs> that's actually my first game back after, after the patch. I'm pretty happy with that, though. Holy shit. <laughs> That got my heart going. So, I mean, that's actually a very pragmatic example of what happens when you're... How do you say it? That's very often... The, how do, it's If you're trying to carry, often you'll lose for situations like that. By the time they had 3 arty, like I knew there was no coming out of it. Because I could not expect to beat 3 arty with 500 HP. It's just too hard. Because all arty does is sit in a bush. And it's like it's very difficult to win against 3 arty if you're one tank. Now, in that case, I got 2,000 damage, 7 kills lost credits but who cares that was a pretty like decent game to lose credits in if i had killed the tiger p might have been able to help out my t150 sooner and so a bit of a mistake there like thinking about that after the game what i might have done stretch gets doesn't have karkov but basically if i had pushed the t150 uh, the tiger p i might have been able to win that one obviously because he's the one who i felt kind of won them the game he took me out of position to uh you know yeah, let's see what Toxic Thought has to say. <laughs> oh, GG. Okay, anyways, that's the video. I'm going to call it there. That was uh, a really solid first game of the day, actually. We're going to go make more. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.